Hey vapers and YouTubers, Mr. Rogue Sr. here, and I got some vape mail. This is a, I got this about a week ago. I wanted to wait and test it out before I did a video on it, uh, but here it is. It's an Origin clone from Fast Tech and a steam turbine. I got the steam turbine off of... Uh, a vendor on um, eBay. I'll put the uh, the links down below after the video. Now, what I did is uh, I took a OK mod, a good mod, and I turned it into a great mod. And what I mean by that is there's you got to do something to the Origin clone here from Fast Tech in order to get your battery to sit properly. So that way you can close uh, the whole thing up. Everything's nice and tight. You know what I mean? There's no gaps or nothing. This is your fire, your button, your fire button there, but there's no gaps up at the top here or at the bottom where the where it comes apart for your battery to. You know what I had to do is there's a piece of plastic to protect you know keep your uh, unit from uh, firing by itself and see that white piece of plastic right there and what I had to do because it's too thick it's about um, I'd roughly have to say about three about three millimeters or so and what I had to do it threads on. It threads on to this, to your fire button down there. And what I had to do was, I had to grind. I don't have another one because I, I already, you know, took care of it. But if you see that right there, so I'm gonna try to this top piece on here was about three millimeters thick. So what I did is I uh, ground it down to about maybe. I'd say probably maybe a half a millimeter or so. Just enough to insulate your fire button from your battery. Because if you don't do that, what happens is you have an unsightly uh, gap between your fire button here and the tube on your mat. It's quick, it's not hard. Uh, took me all of probably two minutes, maybe. Took it to a, a, a uh, sander at work and uh, ground it off flat. So now it's flush. You know, there's no there's no gap right here, and there's no gap at the top right here. Now, as far as the atomizer is concerned, the uh, steam turbine. I had to drill out the holes. I drilled out the holes to uh, about 82 thousandths. I don't know what that is in millimeters. It's, I would say probably two, two and a half millimeters, roughly right around there somewhere. But I did both on both sides. I didn't want to go too big. I didn't want to go too small. So I was pretty comfortable with that size because I've used it on other atomizers. And it seems to uh, be a, a pretty good... Uh, 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 decent size air hole anyway and you get it produces great vape you know if you get your holes right on your coils you get great vape um, this is a sub dome at 0.45 I got cotton wick <clears throat> it's a 6.5 wrap of uh, 26 gauge camphal and like I said cotton and I took a mediocre mod here good mod and made it totally excellent. This thing hits like a beast. It's solid brass. Uh, there's the little label on it. So you can turn it hard to, to focus. I don't want to mess with the focus button. So, But that's it there. And it's like got a magnetic uh, couple magnets in, in your fire button there. It seems to work out pretty swell. 
But anyway, like I said, I took a, a okay, decent, good mod and made it totally excellent because this thing hits like a beast. I mean, to excuse me, totally hits like a beast. Um, I'm sure that's got a lot to do with the atomizer too. Um, I don't want uh, what the hell I'll take it apart and show you the the build that I got on there. That's it right there. Get a fire here. The battery isn't uh, brand new either, so we're not brand new, but uh, freshly charged. I probably switched it out a couple hours ago. I was at work, but I I didn't uh, you know kill the battery. So it's still got a pretty decent charge on it. But it's a really pretty it's it's really pretty pretty with this uh, uh, steam turbine on it, man. I got a lot of people at work were asking me what the you know, where'd I get it and you know, it was they liked it. It was, you know, gold. I think it goes I goes pretty well that's not the drip tip that goes on here but I like it better because it switches from you know the the brass to the gold to the brass so but anyway let's take a vape off of this thing got my uh DIY uh, uh, Austin cream pie, real good stuff. Five nick. I'd have to say for uh, what I paid for it, I think I paid, uh, actually I think I paid more for the steam turbine. Uh, I didn't want to wait for, uh, Fast Tech didn't have the gold one, so I, that's the reason why I picked it up off of eBay. Uh, I know Fast Tech, you can get these for like um, like 13 bucks or whatever. I paid, paid, uh, I paid a little bit more than that, but besides that, uh, uh, the bottom part was, uh, or the mod was uh, like $19 or something like that. Don't quote me. I'll put the links below. You guys can check it out yourself. But uh, all in all, uh, these two together produce great vape. Um, I'm very pleased, even though I had the mod, it, which kind of sucks. But hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, considering the price. Uh, but I'd have to say... Uh, For the vapor production that it uh, that you get off of it, it's every bit worth of uh, uh, what it costs by far. Uh, I like it very much. It looks nice. The, the the bottom part's a little tarnished there because I've been you know, like I said, I've used it for a week, but it still looks pretty nice. You know that steam turbine and the gold is really. Uh, I think I like. I've checked out the silver ones. I like them, but uh, I think the gold just looks cool, especially when I got that my, uh, my uh, Boston Cream Pioneer. That's kind of a gold color, so it kind of like sets it off, you know. But other than that, man, uh, it's a great mod. Uh, uh, you'll love it. I do. Peace.